Hello, welcome to another Dominion 6 Mod Nation Showcase. Today we are taking a look at Middle Age Grimheim, the Dwarven Kingdom. This nation is based on the Fortress faction from Heroes of Might and Magic 5 and 7. And I haven't even played uh, Home 7. So I just uh, used the information I found on the wiki. So I managed to include everything from both of these uh, incarnations. Uh, they are a cave nation with an increased productivity limit. The starting site produces two fire gems and three earth gems per turn. The units and the commanders, we have a lot of them. So let's take a look at them. The first unit is the Cobalt, because in Heroes of Might and Magic 7 you actually get Cobalts in addition to Dwarves. They have pick access, leather armor, they are stealthy, have mountain survival, siege bonus, patrol bonus, and dark vision. So they are quite weak overall. They are size 2 creatures with natural protection of 0. Uh, high magic resistance. Strength is slightly higher than normal. But their skills are poor. But they do bust ports very well. And they are stealthy. The skirmisher. Is a dwarf. See, I tried my best to make this this small sprite to look as close as possible to the Heroes of Might and Magic 5 unit. They have spears, javelins, and leather armor. The dwarfs, the baseline dwarfs, they have high strength, strength 9 for their size 2. That's good. And they have 8 hit points, that's also good for a size 2. Uh, protection. Uh, they do not have any natural protection. Magic resistance is higher than normal because you remember in Heroes of Mind Magic 3 the dwarves had high magic resistance and I decided to preserve this quality here. Uh, the skills are the same but combat speed is and map move uh, they are lower than humans. But their basic encumbrance is 2 instead of 3. So the skirmishers, they have mountain survival, dark vision, and skirmisher. They have spears and javelins. The spear wielders, they also have mountain survival and dark vision, that's the common dwarven traits. Uh, oh, by the way, the dwarves also have high morale. They have uh, the spear wielders uh, two special weapons. The heavy bladed spear uh, deals more damage, has a defense penalty, and also can deliver a crippling wound that um, causes limp. The heavy bladed javelin also deals more damage than normal javelin, is less precise, I believe. Is it? No. It is as precise as normal and also delivers a limp. The defender is the basic melee uh, unit. Has an axe and a dwarfen shield. The dwarfen shield is uh, uh, better than normal shields. It's round uh, and all that. Uh, they do not have anything else special. Also, they. That's quite good armor for middle age. Harpooner. They have a heavy bladed spear that uh, delivers limp and a harpoon. Uh, blade keras instead of uh, leather keras. So at least something. Still no headgear. Shield guard is a better defender. Has higher skill. But other than that, it's quite similar. Brawler has two attacks, so if five brawlers can fit into a single square and have uh, 10 attacks per square, but the attacks themselves are not very strong. And their armor is, uh, well, it's okay, but they don't have any, any shields or any headgear. They have uh, dwarfen traits. And they also are undisciplined, so they are 
difficult to control, and ambidextrous too. The undisciplined really hurts them. A berserker. They have berserk, and I believe they yes they start berserked. They do not uh, need to take a wound, and they also are ambidextrous. Instead of the iron clawed, iron clad gauntlets, they have uh, dwarfing katars that deal piercing damage, and they actually have a half helmet. But still, with instant berserker, they are difficult to control. The capital only sacred is the battle rager. Has a dwarfing kata two dwarfing katars, a golden helmet, golden scale mail, sacred, and they do not have berserker or undisciplined, but they do cost a lot. We also have some terrain recruits. In, in the mountains you can recruit mountain guards. They have cold resistance, snow move and castle defense bonus in addition to the normal uh, dwarfing traits. And they have mountain picks. These are one-handed picks that do a lot of damage. In the mountains you can also recruit bear riders. They have a mole which is a Weird choice for a mounted weapon. Some armor, they cost quite a lot, and they ride bears. The bears even have... no, these bears do not have any barding, this is just a decoration. If you have cold scales, you can recruit white bear riders in the mountains. They have cold resistance, snow move, mountain survival. And the bears themselves have cold resistance and snow move. And they also have plate barding. They cost 60 gold a piece, a whole bunch of resources and recruitment points. And they have stone clubs as weapons. No shield. And finally, in the mountains, you can also, I mean, not summon, recruit fire giants. They, have, they cost two holy points uh, each. They have fire resistance, susceptibility to cold, fear of the flood. I think that's... I don't remember, that's two or not five. Where is the number? Snow move, mountain survival and dark vision. Commanders. The Cobble Scout is a very stealthy scout. With a crossbow. The warlord is the basic leader with leadership 50. A jarl is an advanced leader with leadership 100 and inspirational 1. Rune priest is a holy one priest with an unhindered researcher, but he cannot really research. But if you if you empower him. He will not be affected by the drain scales. Rune Patriarch. Holy 2 with a 20% chance to get a fire random. Also is unaffected by drain. Cobalt Pathfinder. Nature 1. Stealthy Mage with Mountain and Forest Survival, Supply Bonus, Patrol Bonus and Dark Vision. Tame. Air 1, Astra 1, Rock Resistance, Mountain Survival Dark Vision, Unhindered by Drain, and Blink. He can teleport in combat, uh, just like uh, they could in uh, Heroes of Magic 5. And they have a Thane Axe that has an attached chain lightning attack. Ooh! Firebrander is a Fire 2 mage with a 50% chance to get an air random and also is an unhindered researcher. Rune Keeper is a capital only, slow to recruit mage, fire 1 holy 3, sacred fire resistance, fire shield, mountain survival, dark vision, unhindered researcher and fire explosion on death. 
Flame Lord, another capital only slow to recruit mage. Fire 2, Air 2, a guaranteed Fire Earth Astral Random and a rare Fire Earth Astral Random. Also has the same axe with a chain lightning attack. Holy Shock Resistant, Fire Resistant, Mountain Survival, Dark Vision, Unhindered Researcher and Blink. And the Thunder Thane. See, you, can, you have three slow to recruit capital only commanders. The Thunder Thane uh, has Air 2, Earth 2, Guaranteed Air Earth Astral Death Random and Rare Air Earth Astral Death Random. Also has the Chain Lightning Thane Axe. Shock Resistance, Mountain Survival, Dark Vision, and Hindered Researcher, Blink, and Overcharged 50. We also have some terrain recruits. In the mountains you can I mean, uh, recruit a Black Bear Rider, who is a Cavalry Commander, with leadership 150. And you can also uh, recruit an Iron Hair Yar, that's a Fire 1 Earth 2 Mage, with a guaranteed Fire Earth Random and Rare Fire Earth Astral Death Random. Was two holy points, is slow to recruit, fire resistance, susceptibility to cold, fear of the flood, snow move, mountain survival, dark vision. And that is it for the recruitables. But let's take a look at the summons. Uh, where is it? There it is. You get some summons from other uh, Dominions nation. You get summon Valkyries from Helheim and Sloth of Bears from some other nations. But we also have some new ones. In Conjuration 3 you can cast summon Lava Elementals. As a Fire 2 Earth 1 spell for 6 gems you summon 3 Fire... Or I mean Lava Elementals. Yeah, the sprite is... I did my best. They have a Flame Strike, that's a melee area of effect attack, and a Lava Bolt. That's an area of effect, armor piercing, fire ranged attack. They have fire resistance, susceptibility to cold, poison resistance, magic being inanimate, need not eat, heat 5, mindless, fire shield, firepower, and affliction resistance. Uh, these are, despite being elementals, they do not shrink with damage, and they are not combat summons, they are ritual summons. The magma beast. They have a flame strike. I mean, wait. The spell is a conjuration 4 spell. Fire 1, Earth 2, 4 gems, 2 magma beast summons. Fire resistance, susceptibility to cold, poison resistant, magic being inanimate, need that it, hit aura 5, trample, mindless fire shield, blind fire power, affliction resistance, and 2 attacks. They are rhinoceroses or rhinoceros eye. Who cares? In Conjuration 5 you can cast Summon Lava Legion as an Earth 2 Fire 2 spell for 15 gems you summon 10 plus Lava Dwellers. They are these Naga-like beings with two flaming fist attacks. They have physical resistances, fire resistance, susceptibility to cold, magic beam, need that eat, fear of the flood, snow move, mountain survival, dark vision 100 and ambidextrous. In Conjuration 4 you can cast Summon Fire Vortex as a Fire 2 Air 1 spell for 1 gem you summon 1 Fire Vortex in battle, that's a battle summon, who has a retinue of 2 Will of Wisps, the Flame Strike attack, Fire Resistance, Susceptibility to Cold, Poison Resistance, Magic Being, Inanimate, Need Not Eat, Hit Aura, Ethereal, Mindless, Flying, Spirit Form, Fire Shield, Blind, Fire Power, Fire Explosion, Affliction Resistance. And in Enchantment 5 you can cast Animate Magma Ooze. As an Earth 3 Fire 1 spell for 10 gems you summon 20 Magma Oozes. You can only cast the spell in the mountains. Plant Pierce Resistance, Fire Resistance, Susceptibility to Cold, Poison Resistance, Magic Being, Need Not Eat, Hit, Aura, Trample, Mindless, No Move, Mountain Survival, Blind. And they have a crush attack. Uh, the heroes, we only have two. The rune priest is uh, Trollinga. He has, or he has, wait, 
That's that's a man. He has a beard. Uh, an owl that can attack. Uh, water two, nature two. You, I don't think you can get these paths natively. And holy one. And the rune mage is. Uh, uh, who is that? What's the name? Well, some kind of a hero with 2d6 uh, retinue of defenders and an axe of sharpness. Earth 3, Astral 2, Inspirational 2, Castle Defense 15, and Unhindered Researcher. And uh, let's take a look at the pretenders. I removed all the uh, normal default dragons and replace the lineup with the dragons from Heroes of Mighty Magic 5 and 7. Uh, let's say they are quite similar, but there are some differences. First, the red dragon. Uh, fire 2, Fear, Fire Resistant, Flying Mountain Survival, Dark Vision, Inept Smith, Inept Researcher, Dragon Master. That's uh, very similar to the default red dragon, that is called simply dragon, but it cannot shapeshift. The Ardent Dragon is a semi-magmatic creature. Fire 2, Fear, Fire Resistant, Poison Resistant, Heat, Aura 7, Mountain Survival, Dark Vision, Inept Smith, Inept Researcher, generates one Fire Gem per turn, has Affliction Resistance 2, and Dragon Master cannot fly. Fire Dragon also has Fire 2. Fear, fire resistant, susceptibility to cold, that's something these ones did not have. Um, uh, poison resistant, heat aura, mountain survival, dark vision, fire power, inept smith, inept researcher, fire explosion on death, affliction resistance, dragon master. Magma dragon, fire one, earth one, fear, fire resistance, susceptibility to cold, heat aura, fire shield. And affliction resistance. And lava dragon. Also fire one, earth one. Here fire resistance, cold susceptibility, heat aura, and poison cloud instead of fire shield. So yeah, they are quite similar, but there is some variety, I guess. And now the rune stone is an immobile pretender. Earth two, nature one. Amphibian slash Pierce Resistance, Poison Resistant, Inanimate, Need Not Eat, Floating, Fly Bonus, Blind, Spirit Side, Healer, Inept Smith, Inept, I mean, Innate Spellcaster, not Inept Spellcaster. And, uh, if, is that it? No. We also have the Rune Lord. Fire 1, Fire Resistance, Fire Shield, Mountain Survival, Dark Vision, Unhindered Researcher, Master Smith, Fire Explosion on Death. And... New Magic Path cost 10? That... Well... That's very good. So that's the Pretender lineup. Uh, this nation... Uh, I actually had plans for it since... 2013? So that's 11 years ago. I just never got around to actually making it. I like the dwarves. It's a shame that there is no dwarf nation in Dominions, and I know it is. This is just generic fantasy dwarves. I still like them. And uh, initially, I wanted to just stop here, because uh, the rest of the Heroes of Might and Magic Five nations, they are quite similar to the classic ones. But then I looked at the rosters of Might and Mag I mean Heroes of Might and Magic 6 or 7. Well, they actually are called Might and Magic Heroes 6 or something like that. And there is enough content to make uh, new nations. And I decided to make the full lineup. So far, as of this recording, I only have four. Uh, quote-unquote modern Heroes of Might and Magic nations, but I want to make all of them. And then I'll go back and uh, make the factory nation 
from Horn of the Abyss, the new mod for his Heroes of Might and Magic 3. So that will take a while, but uh, I will do it. So thank you for watching, I will see you next time in another nation review.